And just northeast of the park, water rushing through the town of Red Lodge, Montana. The governor has declared a statewide disaster, and today Yellowstone Rangers say that they've rescued all the visitors from the park, including backcountry campers. Now to this. Tonight, rescue teams in Auburn are getting ready for a summertime double threat. Peak fire season is approaching and crews are also inundated with river rescues. CBS 13's Laura Havely is live at the Auburn State Recreation Area with the water warning tonight. Laura. Well, there's a lot to do in this recreation area. You can hike, you can bike, of course, you can swim. But as the summer months heat up, agencies say that's all getting a little bit more dangerous and they've got to be ready. People who've never been out here underestimate it. Colby and his five year old son, Sam, swim in the American River all the time, learning what to do. Um, we just stay in the shallows right there. He has his wetsuit on. He also has his life jacket on. And what does the life vest do for you? Um, help me float. And the father-son duo have also learned what not to do. Don't trust the river at all. Stay away from the strong currents. Water warning signs line Highway 49. Agencies hoping visitors take them seriously, but if not, they're ready to respond. We have a Placer County Technical Rescue Team. Cal Fire, the Placer County Sheriff's Office, and State Parks Swift Water Lifeguards have a signed memorandum to protect the Auburn State Recreation Area. When a call goes out, all three agencies have to respond together. We just find that it's better when we all three come together. But even just one call takes an enormous amount of resources. We work in conjunction with um, State Parks. They have lifeguards that help out. State Parks Swift Water Lifeguard Team is on scene first, followed by engines, officers, and at times even helicopters. Laura, it's not just the units that are working that day. The call out goes to the other 11 members of the sheriff's office part of that team, and they're responding from their homes, their investigations unit, the courthouse, the jail to come help out. I have a battalion chief and a sergeant here with me talking about the teamwork that goes into protecting this recreation area. Is there anything the public can do to help out well, to be educated and to make try to make smart decisions. I um, mean, you never know on any given day what's going to happen. And we did reach out to state parks specifically to talk about their swift water lifeguard program. And if they plan on hiring more guards, they did not get back to us right away. But the overall message here is have fun. This is meant to be a, a safe space to come for the summer, but just be careful. Be smart.